How's everybody doing? Mike here at the Limo Garage. I hope everybody's staying safe. We're right in the middle of dealing with this coronavirus pandemic. And it's, uh, it's affected everybody in a different way. Definitely not in a positive way. So I hope everyone's doing everything they can to stay safe out there. And I'm trying to do what I can to stay productive and stay, keep moving. Because when I stop, I go crazy. I don't know, man. If, I'm, if you guys are anything like me and my wife, we work, 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 work. So when we stop, we don't know what the hell to do with ourselves. It's not good. So anyways, with that being said, I'm over here at the office and there's really not much to be doing as far as limo garage is concerned. We've got the whole fleet running today, but today we're working on something different. Today it's camper garage. That's right. So this is our, our newest toy. So we picked this up um, just a week after, actually the week during um, the Vegas show, uh, LCT chauffeur driven Vegas show. My wife picked this up uh, while I was in Vegas. And the plan was to go straight into the busy season and be excited about making money with the limos and chauffeurs running around like crazy. And in the break, taking some time for ourselves to go out camping. Well, that didn't happen. That's right, the bottom fell out, the shit hit the fan. And now I'm taking some time to do some repairs and maintenance on this thing while it's sitting here. So, as you can see up on the roof up there, I've got a little bit of a top sitting there. Well, that's usually not a good sign. We had some rain the other day, which we haven't had rain in over a month. And sure as shit, what happens? I got a leak. Son of a bitch. So, I'm going to go up on the roof and see what we can make of this mess. Alright, so here we are up on the roof. I just kind of put this up here temporarily the other day. Just so we don't end up with too much water inside. Oh yeah, what a mess. Look at this. What a disaster. See this? This is where somebody else had attempted to repair this before. Gotta love it. See this disaster here? Somebody just put some glue and some goop and some nastiness. What I did do is I'm going to scrape all this off, dry it off the best that I can, and uh, we're going to reseal this the way that I think that it should have been done. Here's, here's what I'm attempting to do. So I've got flex seal tape, and I like this because it's eight inches wide, it's five feet long, I got two of these. That should be enough that I can go right across that seam from one side all the way to the other. Uh, if I gotta overlap the tape, that's okay. So then once that's set down, then I'll be able to come back with my flex seal liquid. And I love this stuff. Um, I think that's gonna take care of my problem. But I want to address another issue before I do any of this. So that spot right up there in the roof, I'm not climbing back up there again with the camera, it's kind of a pain in the ass. It's a low spot, okay? So the water is just gonna puddle right in that same area. And I'm afraid that if I do this, this is gonna be a temporary fix, because eventually what's gonna happen is all the water is gonna st still collect in that low spot, and eventually it's just gonna destroy any repair that I do, and I'll be back to right to where I started. So, I had an idea. I need to create a high spot and get rid of the low spot. All right, so I got some spray foam here. Why can't I use this to create a new foundation almost? I'll spray this right on the top, level it out, and get rid of my low spot that dips down by using that. Sound crazy? I'm up for anything. Let's try it. All right. I've got the, the camera just kind of leaning on the roof on the edge of a towel. So hopefully you guys can see me. If not, you can listen to my lovely voice. So here's my concern. This is a very, very low spot. All the water is going to come right to here, and it's going to eventually destroy any repairs that I do. So I'm going to try to put some foam here, some spray foam, and mold it so that it gets rid of this low spot and cause the water to run, hopefully back off the edge the way it was originally intended to. So. You guys can watch and try not to laugh and cringe too much. Now we're going to see if I can bullshit my way through this.
That looks legit, right? Well, instead of smoothing this one out, I'm gonna leave that and let that dry. And then if I have to, I can come back and grind it and smooth it out to the way I want. But that's my low spot, which is now no longer a low spot. So let's come back to this in a little bit and see what it looks like. All right, so we're back up on the top now. Let this thing sit for about an hour while I went and had lunch with my wife. And it actually did exactly what I wanted it to do. I've got a nice hard raised surface now. I know it looks like the surface of the moon. We're gonna fix that shit. Have me one of these. We're gonna grind this thing down. Get it all smooth. I think that looks pretty damn good. Hell yeah, that gave me exactly what I was trying to do. Got rid of my low spot, and I've got a nice even coverage all the way across. Yeah, it's got some nooks and crannies in it, and it looks like the surface of the moon, but it's gonna serve the purpose of exactly what I needed to do, was to get this section of the roof to come up higher so we don't have a low spot to retain water. Now, I know it's not much to look at now, but after the next two steps, you're not even gonna see this. All right, so next thing we gotta do is get our tape and roll it across from one side to the other. Gonna get my wife to help me with that. I've got a ladder on the other side and uh, we're gonna see if we can make this look like something. All right guys, she's starting to look like something now. I've got the flex seal tape down, got it all the way across the roof. Yes, I know, there's a wrinkle right there. This stuff is a bitch. If you've ever seen a slapstick comedy with a bunch of idiots playing with uh, super glue, yeah, put super glue on the back of a piece of tape and give a husband and wife a roll of it on top of a camper. Yeah, we finally just got the glue off my glasses. Yeah, you don't even want to know. All right, so yeah, I know that this is sticking out. That's okay because we're going to roll out um, our liquid flex seal and that's going to take care of that. But I'm going to roll two coats of liquid flex seal right across this on both sides and this is all going to blend together and look really nice. So I hope you guys are starting to smell what I'm cooking and let's get on to the next step. Alright so now for the fun part. Now just to recap, cleaned up the mess, built it up by making another mess, laid down some tape that looks like another layer of mess and now we're going to cover up our mess and we shouldn't have any more leaks. So. I got my roller, I got my pan full of liquid, flex seal, which this is damn good stuff. We're gonna roll this thing, and who knows, we might make a cake worth looking at. done. Look at that. One sealed camper roof. I didn't say it was going to be pretty. I just said it was going to work. So there you go. I put on two coats of the liquid flex seal. Let this thing dry in the sun for a good 24 to 48 hours before testing it. And I think we'll be good. You can see I got this buried in there pretty good. There's no way in hell that's going to leak. And what's nice about this stuff is it's flexible. 
so I don't have to worry about any cracking or peeling or anything. And I know that edge looks like it's high, but I got right in there with the crevices, and believe me, it's sealed. So thanks for watching. Mike at the Limo Garage slash Camper Garage. And remember, next time you have something wrong with your camper, don't ask me. <laughs> All right, everybody, be safe. We'll see you next time.